Now that we've got an idea of uh, different campaign types, as well as some keyword research, uh, we can actually get started making the campaign. So uh, we go to create a campaign. All right, for this campaign, we're gonna go with sponsor products. Gonna choose the seat cushion. Gonna name our ad group phrase because we'll be making a phrase uh, match keywords for this ad group. Choose manual targeting. Uh, keyword targeting here, you, you have the option of using the keyword research re you did before from a third-party tool on Amazon using brand analytics, uh, or you can just use these keywords. I'm going to go over to the keywords that I got from Zonguru, which is the third-party tool we use. Uh, I'm going to go copy this, enter the list, go up top, remove this, uh, choose phrase, and you can use suggested bid. Um, you need to be very careful because sometimes the suggested bid will be something like something in the range of like $10 plus. Um, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a custom bid of $1.95, add keywords, and see, you can't actually use special characters. So I'm going to remove this, add the keyword, and yeah, now it comes time to start looking through these keywords and seeing, okay, does this make sense for the product that we're selling? Uh, IS here, what this means is if you're already running ads, this will show your impression share. So this is your impression share for this product for gel cushions for pressure relief, 0.3%, uh, 0.01%, 4.94%, 4.52. Um, so let's get started uh, removing keywords that might not make sense. You can also do that in the Excel file, uh, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do it in here. Uh, so we're looking at this all makes sense, all makes sense, gel seat cushion, totally fine. Um, you can rem you can change your uh, keyword uh, bids here, uh, especially if it's a much broader keyword, like gel cushion is a fairly broad keyword. So I'm actually going to go lower here, uh, 76 cents on the lower end of this, uh, uh, of this suggested bid range, uh, gel cushion for sitting, gel seat cushion for wheelchair. I'm gonna go lower here, gel pressure relief cushion, uh, purple seat cushion, desk chair cushion. I'm actually gonna remove this. And uh, seat cushion for office chair, sciatica pain relief pillow. I'm gonna remove that. You can also negative out pillow if that's something that you wanna do. Um, if, if in this case, you're not comfortable bidding on that keyword, but so far remove egg sitter, uh, gel chair cushion, tailbone pain relief cushion, gel foam seat cushion. Uh, this is on the cusp of being removable, uh, wheelchair cushions for seniors, perfectly fine. Cooling gel seat cushion, perfectly fine. Buttocks cushion, I'm going to remove. Uh, Kismotic is a brand name. They're a fairly popular brand name. I don't think we're ready to compete with them, so I'm going to remove that brand name. Uh, cushion, soft seat cushion, wheelchair seat cushion, medline balance cushion. I'm going to be removing this as well. Uh, Avon gel wheelchair seat cushion. Um, you'll see before I launch the campaign, I'm also going to be negativing out a lot of the competitors for this campaign. This campaign is going to be solely focused on phrase match keywords for driving revenue, driving profitable ROAS sales. So we're not gonna be doing any um, competitors, any incredibly broad targeting, just very focused keywords from the keyword research that we've done. Um, wheelchair seat pad, remove, gel seat cushion for hip pain, fine. Uh, gel cushion for chairs, gel chair pad, remove. Uh, and again, you might think that I'm being a little too liberal removing these keywords, but your goal, especially when, when you're a fairly new seller, isn't necessarily to get the most volume, to get to be visible at all times, to get the most visibility or the most clicks, the, the most impressions. Your goal is to get profitable sales, to get profitable sales on longer tail keywords that make sense for your brand. Uh, that, that you want to rank for because really the goal of PPC, the goal of advertising on Amazon is to get the sales, get the sales velocity, boost your rankings to that first page so that along with your profitable ROAS, you can also get uh, 
sales organically that you don't have to pay for that are uh, pure profit for you. So we're just going to go down and do this. Uh, you can see this is a fairly involved process, but if you want it done properly, you you need to be very involved in the process here. Uh, you need to take a look at what you're bidding on, especially when you do bulk keyword research. Like you can see, I just removed car seat. Definitely not a keyword you want to bid on. Uh, definitely not something you would want to appear for. So incredibly broad, has so many different variations. It would be something that you would completely bleed money for. Uh, so yeah, we keep going. Wheelchair accessories, far too broad. Honeycomb seat cushion could be, but not necessary for this uh, for this campaign. Claudina gel butt cushion, semi truck accessories, also no. And if you do miss something, don't worry too much about it. It's important. We'll, we'll go over that in the following video. If you do miss something, you should keep an eye on your keywords when uh, when you're uh, actually running ads, when you're getting clicks, when you're getting sales, and you should be actively maintaining uh, your your uh, your campaigns there and making sure that everything makes sense. Like it's possible that some of these keywords, even though they make sense, are going to be end up being very unprofitable for you. They're going to be costing you money, so we would exclude that down the line. But when you're when you're creating the campaign, try to do as much as possible to remove any obviously irrelevant, obviously um, unprofitable keywords right off the bat. Save yourself some time in the long run. So we're going to keep going down here. You can see like back pain is a keyword, not ideal to bid on. Uh, Pulnital cyst cushion potential, but we're going to exclude that for now. Exclude some more stuff. You can see we're about halfway done. So in the interest of time, I'm going to come back here when I've excluded all of these keywords. Okay, so we've removed all the excess keywords. Now what I like to do is, uh, you can do this from here or you can do it with bulk sheets, but what I like to do is uh, look through the suggested bids and go down and do the ones that are, uh, apply the ones that are lower than the bid we chose. So we chose $1.95, so we're gonna go down and apply the bids that are lower than that and leave the ones that are higher. Um, again, you can do this in bulk sheets uh, with bulk uploads after you've launched the campaign, but for, for this video, uh, I'm going to do it this way, and then I'll show you how to do bulk uploads and bulk sheets in a later video. Uh, I think that'll be part three, so stay tuned. Uh, so we'll do that really quickly, and you can see I've removed over 100 keywords of stuff that is not relevant. So we'll just do this really quickly. Um, the idea here is you're trying to find not the floor, of, uh, of, of your bidding, but you're trying to find a healthy mix of aggressive bids as well as profitable bids. So you can see that some of the, like, this is why we don't do uh, suggested bid. And this is why we don't click apply all, uh, because you've got some keywords that, you know, for a $40 product, they want you to pay uh, upwards of four or five, sometimes even $10 you'll see in a second. Uh, and that's just, that's just not advisable or, or profitable for anyone, but maybe even the biggest sellers are probably losing money if they're doing it like that. Um, so we want to be very careful with the key, with the keywords we make, the bids we make. You can see purple simply seat cushion, $10 bid. If you had hit apply all, you would be bidding $10 on this phrase. Um, you need to have a conversion rate of one in four to just break even on this for a $10 click. Uh, very unlikely to happen easy to burn money. So be careful when you're making the campaign, or at least if you do do it this way, uh, make sure you take a look at things on a daily basis, which is what we do for our clients. Uh, you should be looking at this every day. Maybe not, you don't want to be obsessive about it. You don't want to be staring at it and watching the numbers move uh, in real time, but you do want to take a look and see, you know, what's going on. Um, are, are our impressions going down? Because bids do change especially when you're doing manual bidding, bids do change. Um, even outside of stuff like Prime Day, the holidays, um, 
competitors can get more aggressive, less aggressive. So paying attention to your bids ensures that you're not uh, leaving any money on the table. Uh, so we're basically down to here, up down to the end here. Uh, and so our goal with this campaign is to get a simple, comprehensive campaign with the best possibility of success, uh, nothing too special, uh, no crazy competitor targeting, no crazy um, ideas behind broad keywords or anything like that. Just a standard, simple campaign where you've done the keyword research, you understand the product, and you're looking to get in front of potential buyers. So we're basically coming to the end here. When that's done, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do some negative keywords to start this campaign off. So for this campaign, I'm gonna to want to exclude all the competitors that we did uh, research on initially in that uh, brand analytics page. So if we go back to the Excel file here, you can see that there's a bunch of brands here that you've got. So top click brand one, top click brand two, uh, top click brand three. So I'm actually going to use all of these top brands, people that competitors that we probably don't want to compete against. And I'm going to add them as negative phrase here. Uh, important note here, if you are doing this, take a look at um, what their keywords are, what the actual brand names are. Sometimes they'll have important keywords in them that you don't necessarily want to exclude on phrase, then you can exclude it in a different way or just leave it. Uh, but something like purple, you don't want to exclude just the keyword purple. Um, and yeah, very, very important to, to, to look at that, to notice that, that what you're looking to exclude does need to make sense. So the purple stuff, uh, because if you exclude the keyword purple on phrase, if anyone looks for something like purple seat cushion, your ad won't show up, even though that might be a relevant keyword. So we're going to do that. Uh, I missed the purple here. Everything makes sense. So there we go. We've got a very simple campaign set up, 380 keywords added. Um, they're all logical keywords. They're all keywords that make sense for the product that we're selling. Um, they're all keywords that prospective buyers search up. We can see in the keyword research we did here, the search volume. So if we go from highest to lowest, the highest search volume is car seat, which is one of the stuff we've uh, removed. Seat cushion, 100,000 searches, and then all the way down to very specific gel seat cushion for long sitting pressure relief, 494 searches, uh, 20 inch wheelchair chair cushion, 494 searches. Um, so we've got a very comprehensive campaign here. We've got I wouldn't say too aggressive bidding, but we've got fairly aggressive bidding. This is a good selling product. This is a product that uh, um, is gaining traction, is very close to the first page. So we want to, to drive sales to this product. So you can see the, here the forecast. Um, you're not actually gonna see the forecast until A, you add a budget and it'll only show the forecast for the uh, suggested bids. So we're gonna go down here, uh, name the campaign Hawkeye. Uh, gel seat cushion. No competitors. Manual. Um, your key, your uh, naming convention, fairly important. You want to have a naming convention uh, that makes sense, that tells you what the campaign is, what the product is. Um, some people use ASINs. Uh, gets very complicated, if, especially if you got more than one. You know, if this was like a B zero J Y. Uh, and then another campaign was B0GY. Much easier to just put like gel seat cushion. This is the idea, the theme of the campaign, no competitors, uh, because we negative out the competitors. Manual, because it's a manual campaign. Uh, and then we'll go uh, keyword targeting. Budget, we're gonna set a $20 daily budget and you can see we'll get some uh, forecasts here. Uh, don't worry about the forecasts. Uh, generally nothing to think about there. It's it's just Amazon's idea. It could be more, it could be less. Um, but yeah, so get, uh, take a last look here. We've got pretty good keywords. Uh, we've got some negative keywords here. Uh, we've got budget and it's time to launch the campaign. So when you launch the campaign, 
Um, you have a few options. Uh, your best option is to, uh, you've got about an hour to wait until it's eligible to receive impressions. It'll very often be quick, quicker than that. But uh, one thing you can do, one thing we like to do, uh, especially for campaigns that uh, that we're looking to get fairly aggressive in, is to edit the campaign, uh, go to ad groups, take the total targets that we've got here, uh, Download all the keywords we have here. So we're going to download these keywords. Make sure that they're all there. They're all there. Um, do that. Uh, and then we're going to go create another ad group. Going to name it exact. Use the exact same targeting on exact match. Uh, we're going to do a lower bid. So if we did a dollar ninety-five for that, we're going to do let's say a dollar eleven for this one. Uh, and uh, make sure you remove keyword if you did it the way I did it. And uh, negative targeting, we're going to go negative phrase once again. Um, you can do the same thing you did before with the competitors, or you can just uh, copy the negative keywords from your campaign that you've already done. I'm just going to do it this way really quickly. Uh, take a look that everything's fine. Great. Uh, take a look that everything's fine here. Do that. And there you go. You've got a campaign with two exact uh, two ad groups, one exact, one phrase. Um, you can do the same thing for broad. In this case, I'm not going to. Again, we're not looking to get very aggressive yet. Uh, if you've got an established brand, if you're already selling um, a decent amount, if you're already on the first page, maybe you're in the middle of the first page and your goal is to get to top one, two, or three, um, then I would recommend doing broad, another broad ad group here to get as much volume as possible, as much sales velocity. But in this case, uh, that's not what I'm going to do. So we're going to... Uh, be monitoring this, this campaign for the next uh, a few hours, see if there's anything off that uh, that's not working, if, if Amazon throws any errors or anything like that, but very likely it will just start, uh, let me just go filter by active status, enabled only. And where is our new campaign? It is, here it is. that there it is so that is how you make a simple phrase match sponsor product campaign with comprehensive targeting um, logical bidding and uh, yeah it's a good start it's a good uh, it's a it's probably a bread and butter campaign for most account types um, at least for manual uh, it's uh, I hope you found this guide useful and uh, check out some of our other videos